Hi, we're joined here in association with Coral, our official betting partner in Norwich City Football Club, to preview this weekend's East Anglian Derby. I'm joined by two absolute legends from both clubs. Boys, let's get straight into it. It's the Ipswich Norwich Derby. How does it feel, Dave, as a manager, player? As a manager, first of all, how do you approach the game? How would you approach the game? Would you do anything differently in training in the lead up to the game? Well, I think it's, uh, the players are aware of what importance it means to uh, the fans at the football club and to everyone else. And of course, it may mean that the game, being in a season where you need the points anyway to uh, you know, further your position in the league, so everything is normal in terms of uh, the game itself, the way you approach it, but of course the atmosphere and everything else that builds up through the week makes it a little bit more important than perhaps the run of the middle league games that you play through the season. And uh, I think you, by winning the game you get you know, a lot of uh, kudos from that and the fans uh, you know, will be buoyed up, particularly when they go to work next day and uh, brag about it in the you know, workplace. John. You've played in some derbies in your time. You've played in the Merseyside derby. How does the East Anglian one compare? It's right up there. You know, I was just lucky enough to play for Liverpool against Everton a few times. And I, I used to go and watch Rangers, my home team, against Celtic, which I thought was the best yeah. as a spectator. But being in Suffolk for 40 years, I know this is right up there. What's your biggest standout memory? What's your best memory? I've been quite lucky. I've played 19 and I've scored nine goals. That's a record. I thought I'd get that in. <laughs> uh, but the big one was uh, when we played at Portman Road. We won 4-2 and I, I got a hat-trick. Uh, I think Kevin Keelan was a the goalkeeper then. You know, and I didn't have to buy a drink for about a month. So yeah, I wasn't playing, then, was it? I don't think you were playing. No, no, but if you were playing, it might have been. I might have got more. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so that one stands out, scoring a hat-trick, yeah. Fantastic. How about you, Dave? What's your best standout memory? It goes back before he was born, and uh, we played against uh, Ray Crawford and uh, people like uh, Ledbetter, in, and we sent a side to, uh, it was a midweek game, and sent a side was a very young side. We were short on, on playing staff because of injuries and everything else. And uh, the then manager put this side out and really thought we were up against it and managed to come away winning the game, which, you know, does stand out amongst uh, most of the games. Let's flip it. What's the worst, John? I got a red card at Carroll Road. Oh, you know yes. what I was to say. I'm glad yes. you said that. It, it was in 19, I think it was 93, 94, and uh, uh, Jamie Curran scored the first one and I was centre back, I, I must have been 37 or something, 38 and Darren Eady was about 14 at the time <laughs> I think and I tried to get him in the first half but I was that late, I got him in the second <laughs> and uh, I got a red card and Norwich went on to win the game 3-0 so that was my worst moment. How about you Dave? Uh, I think at Portman Road, um, I think I gave away a penalty which definitely was outside the box but you know being at Ipswich and the crowd well behind them, uh, the referee saw it as a penalty and uh, I think that was the goal that actually won the game on that occasion and of course uh, you know you feel as though you've let everybody down by the fact that you've given the penalty away but uh, you know those sort of things uh, happen and uh, you just have to get on with it. So Dave, City currently seventh in the table, win on Sunday in the derby, gets them right back in the mix hunting for the playoffs. How do you think the season's been going so far and do you think we can do it? Well, as everybody knows, we started well, um, got to a good position, and uh, you know looked as though we were coasting in terms of uh, you know position in the league and results. Then you know we've had uh, a bad spell where um, you know we've not got the results that we would have wished for. Just recently, had a little bit of a resurgence in terms of uh, I think it was three to four games where we you know got the points and pushed ourselves back in it and. The confidence seems to have come back. Sunday's game is important to, for the fact that you've got to keep things going now. With the games running out towards the end of the season, you just have to go on a run and keep it going to uh, stand any chance at all. It's Sunday being the game that it is, you know, a one-off in lots of ways. I'd love us to win. I want us to win, but you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. John, Ipswich, currently 13th in the table. 
season so far? You're missing the boy Lawrence on Sunday. Will he be a big miss? He, he'll be a major miss, but going back, the season so far, about four games ago, it was all doom and gloom, you know, things, you know, fans were getting on to mix back and the football wasn't the best, but it was only, you know, as I said, we've only been getting loan signings and you've not been given a lot of money to spend, but in the transfer deadline, they brought a few loan players and a few good signings and since then, we've been unbeaten in four games, you know, and against good teams and uh, we're really up for this game coming up. But going into the game, I'm, I'm glad it's this Sunday, you know, rather than a month ago. Yeah, yeah, sure, thank you. Gents, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've got to finish with asking for some predictions. So I'll start with you, Dave. How do you think it's going to go on Sunday? I think uh, Norwich will have the edge because of the home advantage. And I fancy them to win and by the odd goal. I don't think it'll be a high scoring game. I think it will be very tight and 2-1. Uh, to Norwich. Uh, he's just took my score. And, uh, not to Norwich. Yeah. But, no, I just think there's going to be goals in it, you know, and as I say, we've been playing well in the last three or four games. Norwich didn't do well the last game, so going to Carroll Road with a lot of confidence and hopefully we can just nick it and I think a 2-1, yeah, Two for one, Ipswich. Let's get to victory. Let's get that in. <laughs> Gents, thank Great. you very much. Cheers, Game on. <laughs>